the terrifying maneuver reveals how active this moon is. We found over 101 geysers and material coming from the fractures, and other teams found that the vapor contains simple organic compounds. Those geysers are coming from an ocean that is salty, comparable to the salinity of the Earth's ocean, and it's shooting into space. The heat discovered at Enceladus suggests there could be hydrothermal vents under its ocean floor. Similar features on Earth are known to harbor life. Here is this tiny world with a liquid water ocean underneath its icy crust, with the possibility of hydrothermal vents on its seafloor. So you have all the key ingredients for life, water, a source of energy, and nutrients coming from the hydrothermal vents. This could just be the greatest discovery in science, the potential for life outside of our planet. And it cements Cassini's destiny. April 2017. The Cassini spacecraft has been at Saturn for 13 years. With fuel tanks almost empty, Cassini's time is up. It cannot be allowed to fly on any longer. There's a theoretical chance that microbes from Earth could have survived on board. Cassini is essentially at about 72 degrees inside the spacecraft, and so if there are little microbes in there that don't mind a vacuum, they could last forever. NASA has a responsibility never to contaminate another world with life from Earth. Cassini has got to be put safely away. We need to dispose of the spacecraft such that we don't pollute any pristine body in the Saturn system. Enceladus has got a warm saltwater undersea ocean. We cannot risk an inadvertent contact with that pristine body. The mission team makes a painful decision. They program Cassini to alter its orbit. We are going to dive between the rings of Saturn and Saturn's atmosphere, a place no spacecraft's ever gone. We're going to be going 70,000 miles per hour into a 1,200-mile-wide gap. A maneuver so risky, it could only be asked of a spacecraft they needed to kill. Even a piece of sand at that velocity could cripple the spacecraft. 